emphysema wasn't even on my radar. Never even thought about it. When they came back with that diagnosis, it just knocked me right out of the saddle for a little while. With the life charts and the extra battery, I can go to the grocery store, I can go to Walgreens, I can go anywhere I want to without any problem at all. The life choice helps me do anything I want to do now. Play golf, run around with the kids, grandkids, what they need. All of these pieces of equipment are not an indication of a handicap. They are a way that we can stay active. Thank you for purchasing the Life Choice by Innova Labs. Before you begin using your new device, there are a few important things you need to know. Your unit should come with the Life Choice portable oxygen concentrator, a carrying case, AC and DC adapters, and one nasal cannula. Some patients will also have an external battery pack. After your system has been fully charged for six hours, it's ready to go. Before powering it on, connect the cannula to the Life Choice. Then hold down the power button for two seconds. The Life Choice will beep once the power is on. That sound is the internal fans that keep the Life Choice battery cool. You can now choose which level of oxygen dose you'll need, level one, two, or three. Now check the battery. At this point, it should be fully charged. Now it's time to put in the nasal cannula. If you put it in before this point, the life choice will not turn on. And you're ready to go. Though you may not feel the oxygen, you're getting it. The system delivers oxygen based on the user's inhalation rate. If the green light is on, you're getting oxygen. When using the life choice during the day, the system automatically operates in the active mode when oxygen requirements tend to be higher and respiration rate faster. In the event you fall asleep during the day or for evening use, the life choice will automatically adjust to your changing oxygen requirements during sleep in sleep mode. Only the life choice offers auto mode technology to adjust to your changing oxygen requirements during activity and sleep. Charging your life choice. The life choice comes with an internal battery that lasts two hours and takes four hours to charge. It also comes with an external battery that lasts three hours and takes six hours to charge. Both can be charged at the same time while the system is being used. It takes six hours to charge both batteries at the same time. The life choice must be turned on and unplugged to get an accurate reading on the battery life. The external battery can also be checked to determine if it's fully charged. Once charged, be sure to reconnect the outlet back into the battery to preserve the battery charge until use. If the life choice is running off the internal battery, it will blink slowly. If it's running off the external battery, the green light will be solid. When you have only 25% of battery life remaining, it's a good idea to start preparing to recharge your unit. When you have only 10 minutes of battery power left, the life choice will begin to beep every 60 seconds and the green light next to the battery check button will turn red and flash slowly. Once your unit is critically low on battery, you'll hear a fast beep. The battery light will flash quickly and your unit will shut down in approximately 10 seconds. To charge the life choice, simply plug the unit into the wall. The solid green light will be on while it's charging. You can charge the external battery at the same time by attaching it to the unit, or you can plug it in directly into an outlet. The life choice can also be charged in the car. When charging properly, the fans and light will be on. Thankfully, the unit takes very little power to charge, so we recommend leaving the life choice plugged in whenever possible. Accessories. The life choice comes with a four-way carrying case. It can be worn as a shoulder strap, a waist strap, a briefcase, and it can be worn as a backpack. To set up the backpack, first take out the two hooks tucked into a netted pouch on the back of the carrying case. 
then connect your long straps in a crisscross formation to each hook. When you put it on, make sure the crisscross is above the unit at the top of your shoulders. Some patients will also receive a three hour external battery and an extra small waist belt. That belt is for the external battery pack. These are your AC and DC power adapters. You'll use these to charge your unit and the external battery. The AC power adapter plugs directly into the wall. The DC power adapter can be plugged into the car. The Life Choice will also come with a seven foot standard single lumen cannula. This will plug directly into the Life Choice and into your nose. Troubleshooting and maintenance. There are a few warning indicators we want to go over with you. For starters, make sure you don't put the cannula in your nose before you turn on your life choice. If you do, it won't turn on. Wait until the machine is powered on, you've chosen your oxygen dose, and checked your battery power before placing it in your nose. If no breath is detected by the unit, you'll hear a periodical beep after 75 seconds. And the red alarm light will also blink. If you have the cannula in your nose and still hear this alarm, check the cannula connection. Make sure you're breathing through your nose and make sure there's not a kink in the cannula. Should your unit experience a general malfunction, you'll hear a continuous audible alarm and the red alarm light button will continuously be on. This issue is rare, but if it happens, turn off your unit, change to another source of oxygen and contact your equipment provider. The Life Choice has two fans on either side of the unit. Make sure those fans are not blocked and keep your unit upright. Don't run the unit against a wall, lying flat, or inside of a bag. Your unit requires very little cleaning. Just swipe the front and back air intake filters once a week. And keep in mind the Life Choice is water resistant, but not waterproof. So avoid contact with water. One of the best parts of the Life Choice is that you can fly with it, but if you're going to travel by air, you should contact your airline and let them know you'll be traveling with the portable oxygen concentrator. They'll let you know what you need to do to prepare. We hope you enjoy using your Life Choice and the ability to stay on the go anytime, anywhere.